When we started this project, we found a clip that we felt illustrated muscle contraction well. So we will show you the clip first and explain it after it is done. Contraction of voluntary muscle fibers is a complex process which starts with the arrival of nerve impulses at the terminals of the nerves at a special site known as the neuromuscular junction. The impulses cause the release from these nerve terminals of tiny packets of acetylcholine, a neurotransmitter chemical. Acetylcholine then combines with receptors in the muscle membrane and generates an electrical wave in the muscle fiber itself. First, nerve impulse moves down a nerve towards a muscle. When the impulse reaches the nerve ending, it releases acetylcholine in the synaptic cleft. The acetylcholine, or simply ACH, attaches to the muscle cell membrane, opening a channel that allows sodium ions inside the cell itself. This step only occurs if enough ACH is released to allow sodium ions inside the muscle cell. When the sodium ions are allowed inside the muscle cell, the cell interior itself becomes positively charged because of the excess of positive ions. This change in the electrical condition of the muscle cell is what allows muscle contraction to take place. Once the electrical condition changes inside the cell, it causes an electrical current throughout the muscle cell known as action potential. The action potential then moves over the entire surface of the sarcal lemma and once the action potential starts, it is unstoppable. Then positive calcium ions are released from the circuit sarcoplasmic reticulum, of which they bind the regulatory protein troponin, causing another protein tropomyosin to move. Once the binding sites are exposed, the myosin heads bind to the binding sites and pull the actin, which are thin fibers, towards the M line. The H zone then disappears as the actin fibers move towards the M line. Once this happens, the sarcoplasmic reticulum immediately pumps the calcium ions out of the cytoplasm back into the sarcoplasmic reticulum and the tropomyosin and tropo troponin complex again blocking the binding sites. After this happens, the muscle cell relaxes and waits for the process to start over again. These are the steps to single muscle contraction. Now imagine how complex this process is with thousands of muscle cells contracting at the same time and what a wonderful thing this is that God created.